Have you ever wondered why your favorite chocolate bar costs what it does, while cocoa farmers in Ghana struggle to make ends meet? Well, what if I told you that Ghana is quietly orchestrating a technological revolution that could completely transform the global chocolate industry, and the mainstream media is barely talking about it? Today we're diving deep into Ghana's high-tech cocoa revolution, and trust me, what you're about to discover will change how you think about chocolate forever. And today, we're heading to the heart of West Africa to explore how Ghana is leveraging cutting-edge technology to revolutionize one of the world's most beloved commodities. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell because we're constantly bringing you these untold African success stories that deserve global attention. Picture this. It's dawn in Ghana's Ashanti region, and while the world sleeps, Farmers are already checking their smartphones for real-time data about their cocoa trees. They're using satellite imagery to monitor crop health, receiving weather forecasts accurate to their specific plot of land, and accessing market prices that were once controlled by middlemen thousands of miles away. This isn't science fiction, this is happening right now, and it's just the beginning of Ghana's cocoa transformation. Ghana produces about 20% of the world's cocoa, making it the second largest producer globally after Ivory Coast. For decades, Ghanaian farmers have relied on traditional farming methods, passed down through generations. But here's where the story gets interesting. Instead of abandoning these time-tested practices, Ghana is brilliantly combining ancestral wisdom with 21st century technology, creating a model that other developing nations are now studying and attempting to replicate. The revolution began with a simple yet profound realization. Ghana's Cocoa Board, known locally as Cocoa Board, recognized that the country's cocoa farmers were trapped in a cycle of low productivity and poor market access. Traditional farming methods, while sustainable, weren't maximizing yield potential. Farmers lacked access to real-time information about weather patterns, pest management, and market prices. Most importantly, they had little control over the value chain that determined their income. Enter the Ghana Cocoa Platform, a comprehensive digital ecosystem that's transforming how cocoa is grown, processed, and sold. This platform isn't just another app, it's a sophisticated network that connects farmers directly to buyers, provides agricultural extension services through mobile technology, and offers financial services that were previously inaccessible to rural farming communities. Let me paint you a picture of how this technology is changing lives on the ground. Meet Akosua, a cocoa farmer from the eastern region. Three years ago, she was struggling to feed her family on the income from her two-hectare cocoa farm. She had no idea when the optimal time was to harvest, often selling her beans to local buyers at whatever price they offered. Today, Akosua uses a smartphone app that tells her exactly when her cocoa pots are ready for harvest, based on satellite imagery and local weather data. She receives automated alerts about potential pest outbreaks and gets step-by-step -step guidance on organic treatment methods that increase her yield while maintaining quality. But here's the game changer. Akosua now sells directly to international buyers through the digital platform, cutting out multiple middlemen who previously took substantial portions of her profits. Her income has increased by over 60% and she's been able to send her children to better schools and invest in expanding her farm. This isn't an isolated success story. This transformation is happening across Ghana's cocoa growing regions. The technology revolution extends far beyond individual farming apps. Ghana has implemented blockchain technology to create complete traceability for cocoa beans from farm to chocolate bar. This means that when you buy premium chocolate in New York or London, you can potentially trace those beans back to the specific farm where they were grown, the farmer who cultivated them and the exact conditions under which they were produced. This traceability system is revolutionary for several reasons. First, it ensures quality control throughout the supply chain. Premium chocolate manufacturers can verify that beans meet their specific standards for flavor, sustainability, and ethical production. Second, it enables fair trade practices by ensuring farmers receive appropriate compensation for high quality beans. Third, it provides consumers with transparency about the origins of their chocolate, appealing to the growing demand for ethical consumption. Ghana's innovation doesn't stop at the farming level. The country has invested heavily in processing technology, moving away from simply exporting raw cocoa beans to producing value-added products like cocoa butter, cocoa powder, and even finished chocolate products. This vertical integration strategy keeps more value within Ghana's economy rather than allowing foreign companies to capture the majority of profits from Ghanaian cocoa. The processing facilities themselves showcase impressive technological advancement. 
Modern Ghanaian cocoa processing plants use automated systems that can sort beans by quality, moisture content, and size with precision that surpasses human capability. These facilities employ advanced fermentation techniques that enhance flavor profiles, making Ghanaian cocoa increasingly sought after by premium chocolate manufacturers worldwide. Climate change poses a significant threat to cocoa production globally, and Ghana is addressing this challenge head-on through technology. The country has implemented sophisticated climate monitoring systems that track rainfall patterns, temperature fluctuations, and humidity levels across cocoa growing regions. This data feeds into predictive models that help farmers adapt their practices to changing environmental conditions. Ghana has also pioneered drought-resistant cocoa varieties through advanced agricultural research. These new varieties maintain the flavor characteristics that make Ghanaian cocoa prized while requiring less water and showing greater resilience to temperature variations. The development of these resistant varieties involved collaboration between Ghanaian agricultural scientists and international research institutions, demonstrating how global knowledge sharing can benefit local communities. The financial technology component of Ghana's cocoa revolution deserves special attention. Traditional banking services rarely reached rural cocoa farming communities, leaving farmers without access to credit, insurance, or savings products. Ghana's digital cocoa platform integrates mobile money services that allow farmers to receive payments directly to their phones, access microloans based on their farming data, and purchase insurance policies that protect against crop failures. This financial inclusion has profound implications. Farmers can now invest in better equipment, higher quality seedlings, and improved storage facilities. They can plan for the future rather than living harvest to harvest. Women farmers, who were often excluded from traditional financial systems, now have equal access to these digital services, promoting gender equality in Ghana's agricultural sector. The ripple effects of this technological transformation extend throughout Ghana's economy. Young people who might have migrated to cities in search of opportunities are now finding profitable careers in rural areas. Technical colleges are developing new programs to train agricultural technology specialists. Local entrepreneurs are creating supporting businesses around the digital cocoa ecosystem. International recognition of Ghana's innovation is growing. The World Bank has featured Ghana's cocoa digitization as a model for other developing countries. European chocolate manufacturers are increasingly sourcing from Ghana, not just for quality, but because the transparency and traceability systems align with consumer demands for ethical products. However, this revolution hasn't been without challenges. Rural internet connectivity remains inconsistent in some areas, limiting farmers' ability to fully utilize digital platforms. The initial learning curve for older farmers adapting to smartphone technology required extensive training programs. Some traditional traders who profited from information asymmetries have resisted the changes. Ghana addressed these challenges through comprehensive support systems. The government partnered with telecommunications companies to expand rural internet infrastructure. Community technology centers were established where farmers can access high-speed internet and receive technical support. Intergenerational training programs pair tech-savvy young people with experienced farmers, ensuring knowledge transfer in both directions. The success metrics are impressive. Ghana's cocoa productivity per hectare has increased by 35% in regions where the digital platform is fully implemented. Farmer incomes have risen substantially, with many reporting the highest earnings in their farming careers. Quality metrics have improved as well, with Ghanaian cocoa receiving premium prices in international markets. Looking ahead, Ghana's ambitions extend even further. The country is developing artificial intelligence systems that can predict optimal harvesting times, recommend personalized farming techniques based on soil conditions, and identify potential disease outbreaks before they become visible to the human eye. Drone technology is being tested for precision agriculture applications, including targeted pesticide application and crop monitoring. Ghana is also exploring vertical farming techniques for cocoa seedling production, ensuring farmers have access to high-quality planting material year-round. Research into cocoa-based biofuels could create additional revenue streams for farmers while supporting Ghana's renewable energy goals. The broader implications of Ghana's cocoa revolution extend far beyond agriculture. This success demonstrates how developing countries can leverage technology to add value to their natural resources rather than simply exporting raw materials. 
It shows how traditional practices can be enhanced rather than replaced by modern technology. Most importantly, it proves that African innovation can lead global agricultural transformation. What makes this story particularly compelling is how it challenges stereotypes about African technological capacity. While media coverage often focuses on challenges and deficits, Ghana's cocoa revolution showcases sophisticated problem-solving, innovative thinking, and successful implementation of complex technological systems. The global chocolate industry is taking notice. Major manufacturers are increasingly viewing Ghana not just as a supplier of raw materials, but as a partner in innovation. Joint research projects are developing new chocolate varieties and processing techniques. Some companies are even relocating research and development facilities to Ghana to be closer to cocoa origins and tap into local expertise. For consumers, this revolution means better chocolate. The improved quality control, traceability, and processing techniques result in chocolate with enhanced flavor profiles and guaranteed ethical sourcing. As Ghana continues innovating, we can expect even more improvements in chocolate quality and variety. The success of Ghana's cocoa revolution offers lessons for other African countries looking to add value to their agricultural exports. The key elements include government support for digital infrastructure, public-private partnerships that leverage international expertise while building local capacity, and most importantly, ensuring that technological advancement benefits farmers rather than displacing them. This story also highlights the importance of looking beyond mainstream media narratives about Africa. While traditional coverage often focuses on challenges and conflicts, stories like Ghana's Cocoa Revolution demonstrate the innovation, entrepreneurship, and technological sophistication that characterize modern Africa. As we conclude today's deep dive into Ghana's high-tech Cocoa Revolution, I want you to remember this the next time you enjoy a piece of chocolate. Behind that simple pleasure lies a complex story of innovation, determination, and technological advancement that's changing lives and challenging global perceptions about African capabilities. Ghana's Cocoa Revolution isn't just about producing better chocolate, it's about demonstrating how technology can be harnessed to create more equitable, sustainable, and prosperous agricultural systems. It's about showing the world that Africa isn't just a beneficiary of technological advancement, but a leader in creating solutions that work for developing economies. If this story inspired you, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with others who need to hear about these incredible African innovations. And let me know in the comments what other overlooked African success stories you'd like us to explore. Until next time, keep questioning the narratives and discovering the real Africa.